Honestly, this episode has left me pretty speechless and a little annoyed because how do I talk about this? All right, all right. Let's get over the big points. Deku leaving All Might. Almost exactly how All Might had left Night Eye back in season four flashback. That is insane, especially how fucking heartbroken it is to see All Might just not wanting to let Deku be on his own, knowing the burden, and yet unable to really help his student. It's just, it hurts. Then there's all for one disrespect, disrespecting the line of your next that All Might had used back in season three directed towards Deku, which, I mean, fuck all for one. Just, he's such a arrogant prick. It's kind of annoying at this point. I want him dead. And at the end of the episode, we do have the clutch of Class 1A coming in and saving our boy Deku. As well as the hero killer Stain having a brief appearance. And just, man, this episode was just the setup of how Deku was going deeper and deeper and deeper into just becoming All Might. The All Might before meeting Deku, the one that wants to carry everyone's burden. That's what this episode was. And I mean, I don't know about you, but this episode might just be top tier. It might just be the top tier episode of this entire season. And probably the next one might beat it. But fucking hell. Now, the fact that Deku not only has been is showing to be pushing people away, but it's turning like his physical appearance is turning more and more into a monster rather than the representation of the hero he wants is kind of symbolic of just how that loneliness he is of carrying all that burden it's starting to take a toll because it is finally coming out all the pain and grief that comes with now hell let's bring something from tokyo revengers for a second and not just because i love this fucking scene right here okay. Loneliness hurts. Loneliness is one of the most biggest pains any human would ever go through, especially a high schooler who's been given such a big fucking responsibility like Deku. And he's bearing that responsibility of one for all, all on his own with nobody, similar to All Might. And it must be taking a damn toll on him. Because, hell, he wasn't even able to beat the final bounty hunter on this uh, episode. He beat the one of them with ease, just instantly. And he's constantly beating them, looking for all for one. Just wanting to stop all for one in Shigaraki. Only for this one to corner him. Until Class 1A comes in in clutch and saves him by defeating the villain. As well as confronting Deku with Bakugo being, well, Bakugo, but one of the best moments of him. As well as the fact that Class 1A already knows that Deku's in trouble and they want to help. They know that something's up with Endeavor Hawks and Best Genus because they're not answering. So they're able to puzzle together that those three are working with All Might and Deku. They talk to the principal and actually set a trap for Endeavor to come in so that way they can interrogate him. What helped Endeavor probably want to help Deku even more is when Deku pushes away All Might and being reminded with the help of Bakugo that that's what All Might did to everyone during his prime or more specifically after his encounter with All For One. So it is amazing how everything connects. There's something I want to add, and that's Bakugo questioning Deku if he can smile. This is a key thing because All Might had smiled throughout his entire time as a pro hero, even when isolated. He basically took all of that pain with him. So when Deku can't even respond that he can smile and that he needs to sacrifice his own happiness just to save everyone else, that kind of tells you just how mentally screwed Deku is at this moment. How alone isolated he's become i just can't wait for the next episode it's gonna be one fucking hell of an episode but i also want to make a note that if this episode was just showing the down 
upward spiral of Deku just mentally kind of being on his own and just isolating himself. Next episode will be saving Izuku Midoriya.